Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine after that big fire sale yesterday. Bitcoin crashed below 30k but right now we are trading again at around 40k. So we're gonna analyze where we are standing right now. We also gonna have a look into the stock to flow model price level and later on of course also into Ethereum, into the DXY and also into Nasdaq. And before we start with the content, my friends, I just want to announce that I will sometimes upload some sponsored content, mostly from low cap tokens that are new on PancakeSwap. So those sponsored videos that I will upload from time to time are all only for presentation and is not a financial advice. I just show to you the new different low cap tokens that are coming into PancakeSwap and the creators of those tokens sponsored those videos. So if you're interested in one of them and investing in one of those tokens, make sure to do your own research because if you're doing some nice gains with it, it's all your merit and not mine. I am just presenting to you the different new projects from the creators that are supporting these channel so if you're interested in one of those coins then make sure to make your own research and then invest into that token but otherwise those are all sponsored videos just for presentation so in order to keep alive this channel i will sometimes uh, upload some sponsored content so keep that in mind once the next sponsored content is going online and now my friends, let's start with the content and we're gonna start here straight into the daily time frame because yesterday we had here a massive sell off even below the 200 daily moving average here in the Bitcoin chart. And uh, you can see that we are still not getting any kind of buy signal here in the daily time frame. But because we are very oversold, I'm expecting very, very soon here a big recovery to potentially go up to test again the 50 to 54K area. And then we're gonna see if we're able to recover after this potential bottom here, or if we're gonna continue the downtrend and of course also create lower lows. So that will mean that we're gonna go below $30,000 if here we are not able to recover because then the bear market could be potentially confirmed especially if we're going to start to close daily weekly and monthly candles below important support levels so here in the daily time frame we are seeing now a nice breather towards the 200 daily moving average right here at 40k but you can see that we already have problems now to push higher and start again to recover above the 200 daily moving average so this is for now a bearish sign but we had something similar also in 2013 where we traded along the 200 daily moving average until then we recovered again and continued our bull market so i am expecting something similar to happen also here in the next coming days and finally also be able to push again towards new all-time highs because i still remain with the opinion that this was not the cycle top of this bull market and we will go towards 100 100k and way higher levels for this year but the downtrend here also in the daily time frame is confirmed and we could even drop below 30k if here we are not able to recover in these next coming days and weeks so it's going to be very important where we're going to close the next coming daily candles because if they're going to be above the 200 daily moving average then the likelihood that this is the bottom now here at 30k and we're going to have a big trend reversal here and continue our bull market is very high because not only we are getting here a green buy signal in the hash ribbons indicator and we just have to wait now for the blue buy signal because that usually always acted as a very good buy indication and always once we got a nice blue signal we immediately started then to pump again and that's why I think as soon as here we're getting a blue buy signal Bitcoin should be ready to head higher again and also in my own indicator you can see that we are completely flat here RSI is very low is in complete oversold condition and we could get at any time here very soon a buy signal in my own indicator so I'm just waiting for a buy signal in my own indicator and also here this blue signal in the hash ribbons indicator as soon as they are flashing to buy I will be buying more Bitcoin and and also scale up my long position that is still opened over on a buy bit because once 
once we are getting those confirmations and we are also not dropping below thirty thousand dollars then the bottom in my opinion could be in i don't want to call bottoms but at least we can look forward then for a big breather to the upside which will take us most likely here towards 54k and if we are able to push higher than 54k then in my opinion it's very very likely that we continue our bull market and take out also this 65k this local all-time high that we had for now and continue our parabolic bull run because this big week that we had yesterday was a very good sign that the bulls came in here right at 30k and bought this dip immediately back up so those kind of big weeks to the downside usually in the past always acted as a very good signal that the bottom is in and that we most likely gonna revert again to the upside we had this also here with this march dump last year a huge week to the downside and also in previous bear markets usually we always had huge weeks to the downside downside before then we had a reversal so those kind of formations when we have huge weeks to the downside especially in the daily time frame are always good signals that we're gonna most likely bottom out here and have again a reversal and we most likely are headed higher again at least we should get a breather and since we are still in a bull market i think that we most likely also continue to create new all-time highs and continue our bull market after this huge sell-off that we have seen in the last couple of days especially yesterday and if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that although yesterday we wicked below the EMA ribbons in the weekly time frame and right now we are recovering back up so this is also a very good sign here in the weekly time frame but uh, we have to close weekly candles above $33,500 if we're going to start to close weekly candles below the EMA ribbons then uh, things will start to look extremely bearish here in the weekly time frame also for Bitcoin and if we switch over here into the monthly time frame you can see that also yesterday we dipped below the nine monthly moving average so this is a very important moving average to hold so let's hope that bitcoin can close this monthly candle above thirty five thousand dollars that will mean that we are not entering into a bear market and the correction could be almost over and continue towards new all-time highs because once bitcoin is closing monthly candles below the nine moving average here so below 35k that also in the past was always a good signal that we are entering into a bear market and we should head way lower and that's why we have to keep an eye where we're gonna close this monthly candle if it's going to be above this nine monthly moving average so above 35k i still remain very bullish here and expect continuation to the upside in the next coming weeks and months so i still remain with the opinion that if bitcoin is able to close above 35k this month we are still in our bull market and we're gonna see big continuations to the upside and this huge correction and sell-off is almost over i think it's just a matter of a couple of days until we're getting those buy signals that we are waiting in the daily time frame in my own indicator and also in the hash ribbons indicator and then we're gonna have a big bounce towards 50 to 54k to potentially test this resistance up here and then we're gonna see if we're gonna continue to create lower highs here in the daily time frame or if we're gonna see a trend reversal the correction is done the bottom is in and then we're gonna continue towards new all-time highs and another interesting thing is that if we do a Fibonacci retracement from the last lows that we had after this corona dump so after we had here this huge sell-off last year in March we stabilized here at around eight thousand five hundred dollars before we started our parabolic rise up towards 65k and if we do here this Fibonacci retracement you can see that Bitcoin came exactly down to the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement so Bitcoin usually during a correction likes to come down to the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement or the 0 0.618 down here at around $18,600 so for now everything is still looking extremely bullish here in the bigger picture because bitcoin bounced exactly at this important support level here which also previously acted as a very strong support so this bounce is very healthy and if this is the bottom and we can continue our bull market from here without any bigger dumps below 30k then this right now would be a very good buy opportunity because that would be the absolute bottom here during this bull market and we will continue towards way higher levels 
levels. But if we would lose here this 30k, then in my opinion, it's very likely that we could have a full retracement back down to the point 618 Fibonacci retracement level here at $18,600. You can see that also this acted as a very strong resistance here. And once it was broken, we continued our parabolic rise up. So if 30k is getting lost, if we're gonna drop below 30k, I think it's very likely that we could have a retracement down towards the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement at $18,600. And I know that that would be a huge crash and a big catastrophe for our bull market because in that case, I think that the bear market is confirmed and this was really the cycle top. But as long as we can hold this 30K and not drop down towards $18,600, I think we are still on track and we should expect from here on continuation to the upside and of course, continuation of our bull market. Because also based on the stock to flow model, this price level here at around 40K is way below the stock to flow model price where we should be trading right now and usually also in the past always when we dipped below this blue line this was always a good buy opportunity so that doesn't mean that this is the bottom but at least it's always a good buy opportunity every time we dipped below this blue line so below the stock to flow model price level also during bear market this was always a useful tool because if you would have bought always those sell-offs below this stock to flow model price level you would have bought always the absolute bottom and this was always a good buy opportunity wherever you was buying here below this blue line and the same thing goes also for now everything you're buying below this blue line which currently is here at around fifty-seven thousand dollars in my opinion it's a very good buy opportunity for the long term so at the end it will not matter if you're buying right now at 40k or if we're gonna drop again at 30k or 20k because at the end bitcoin is anyway headed higher and it will not make big of a difference here if you're buying all in at 20k 30 or 40k because at the end it's going to be more relevant where you're going to take profits and not where you bought in so everything below fifty-seven thousand dollars, in my opinion right now is a very good buy opportunity especially for the long term and another very nice chart is here the bitcoin rainbow price chart here you can see that with this 65k top we didn't even reach here this red zone which is at around hundred thirty thousand dollars so the area where we are right now is right here in this orange face here where it says hodl so whenever we are coming down to those levels here in this orange area or even lower towards this green area this is always a very good buy opportunity and every time we are coming into this red zone you should sell everything because we are overheating so you can see that right now with this 65k we didn't even come close to this red area up here and that's why i still remain with the opinion that this was not the all-time high and we're gonna most likely see this red zone incoming here in these next coming weeks and months especially towards the end of this year so everything you're buying here between the orange and blue line should be a very good buy opportunity for the long term and that's why i think that here at around 40k if you're buying more bitcoin it's a very good idea and uh, you can take advantage of this big fire sale and this big correction that we are seeing right now but before we are entering again in an uptrend here in the daily time frame of course we have to wait that we are getting those buy signals especially in this important indicators like the hash ribbons indicator and also that we are starting again to close daily candles at least above the 200 daily moving average and also within the Bollinger Bands again, because as you can see, we are still closing daily candles below the Bollinger Bands. And as long as we are doing that, we're gonna see big explosive moves to the downside, exactly the opposite from what we have seen during the uptrend. And that's why as long as we're closing daily candles below the Bollinger Bands, we could be still shifted lower. But as soon as we're gonna have one candle within the Bollinger Bands, that in my opinion will already signal that we most likely are in for a nice breed at least towards the top of the Keltner channels which are here at 54k exactly at our potential lower high target here in the daily time frame 
and if we are able to close again daily candles above 54k then i think we're gonna continue our bull run and the bear market is over this mini bear market that we had but if here we are getting again rejected at 54k like we also had here at 60k then the correction phase might not be over and this was just a breather towards 54k and we're gonna roll over and maybe in the worst case scenario even reach that 18,000 dollars the 0.618 fibonacci retracement from this big bull run that we had for now before we definitely bottom out and then continue our parabolic phase towards levels way above 65k so way above our local all-time high that we had for now but that would be really the worst case scenario if everything is going wrong i still remain more with the opinion that here if we're gonna have here a big push towards 54k that we most likely are also able to break above and then of course continue our bull market towards 100k and way higher levels and while bitcoin had this massive sell-off yesterday we have seen also a lot of other altcoins crashing down and that led of course also into the bitcoin dominance to rise up here we are currently at around 44 percent so i'm expecting a continuation to the upside here because to me this is looking like a bottom also for the bitcoin dominance and if here we're gonna have a big rise in the bitcoin dominance and of course also bitcoin will start to take the lead and start to push higher then Bitcoin will outperform all the other altcoins. And in my opinion, a lot of those altcoin back holders will switch back into Bitcoin, will take profits into Bitcoin. And that's why I think that Bitcoin will take the lead again and the Bitcoin dominance could also start to rise. And a good example yesterday was also Ethereum that took a big hit. We even crashed below here the main support of $2,400. We came down towards $1,850 and that is also for Ethereum a big hit after this local all-time high that we had here of $4,400. So also Ethereum right now is recovering and the good thing is that we didn't even come down to test the 200 daily moving average here at $1,550. But also Ethereum now needs to recover a lot here. We have to start again to close daily candles above $3,500 otherwise also here for Ethereum we will enter again into a downtrend and have now the EMA ribbons and the 20 daily moving average here at $3,500 as a resistance so if Bitcoin is able to push towards 54k and higher if Bitcoin is able to go back in an uptrend then I will be more optimistic here for Ethereum that we also here gonna create again new all-time highs and continue here the bull market within this channel but if Bitcoin will just go sideways or maybe even lower in the next coming days and weeks, then I'm afraid that here the EMA ribbon and also the 20 daily moving average could take down here also Ethereum. And then we also most likely going to see here a 200 daily moving average retest at $1,550. So here for Ethereum, as long as we are closing daily candles above $2,400, there is a very high chance that we could see also here big pushes to the upside and create new all-time highs. But if $2,400 is getting lost, if here we would get rejected and we would start to close daily candles below $2,400, then I'm afraid that here the correction is not over and we are headed at least down towards the 200 daily moving average in the worst case scenario, even down where this channel started at around $900 dollars so that would be in my opinion the worst case scenario for ethereum so let's hope that we can remain within this channel and that's why if bitcoin is able to push higher i think also here for ethereum we're gonna see big continuations to the upside incoming very soon but if the bitcoin dominance is starting to rise then i think that bitcoin will outperform ethereum and many other altcoins so if the bitcoin dominance is starting to push higher i think the best is then to be into bitcoin and not into altcoins because if bitcoin is taking the lead again then we're gonna see big pushes first for bitcoin and maybe for altcoins way later so after bitcoin is again consolidate in completely new levels way above 65k and now let's switch over into the dxy because here you can see that the DXY is still in a downtrend. We are still getting rejected now from the 9 and 20 daily moving average. So as long as the DXY is falling, 
I still expect that the stock and crypto market could recover very, very fast because currently we are also taking hits in the stock market, especially here on Nasdaq. Yesterday also we had a huge week to the downside. We also had here a big sell off, which was then immediately bought back up again. So also in the stock market, we have seen a big crash yesterday, not as much as in the crypto space, of course, but also in the stock market yesterday, we had a big plunge. So as long as the DXY is falling, I still remain very optimistic for the stock and crypto market. But Nasdaq right now is also still in a downtrend. So far, we couldn't recover here above the EMA ribbons in the daily time frame, and not even above here the 20 daily moving average at $13,500. So as long as here we are in a downtrend, that of course, could also take down the crypto space especially bitcoin and here we may be gonna bottom out once we are reaching and testing here the 200 daily moving average at twelve thousand five hundred dollars so let's have an eye also here into nasdaq once here we are closing again daily candles above the ema ribbons and above the 20 daily moving average then i think here also we're gonna see very soon new all-time highs and with this potential higher low compared to the last one here we could gear up for a nice move to the upside and therefore also start to create again higher highs here for nasdaq which will be very much in favor also for the bitcoin price so even though the markets are looking extremely problematic right now and there is a very high danger that the bottom is not in here and we're gonna see continuation to the downside i think that in all asset classes this big sale that we have seen yesterday was a very good buy opportunity and you're still not too late so if you want to grab some altcoins or buy more bitcoin then i think right now is still a very good chance to buy in because if you're anyway investing for the long term uh, those prices that we are seeing right now we might never see again once we're starting to take off again so don't be too late if you want to buy some more bitcoin because you should be buying always when we have these big sales and not once we are taking off again and buy always at the top so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos also check out all my referral links that you find in the video description because if you sign up to the recommended exchanges that i'm also using you will get some extra money and some extra bonus and the big shout out goes also out to our discord trading chat if you want to join our discord community then use the link in the description then go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot then you have free access to the trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin so if you want to get access to that indicator you have to send me a private message because a small donation is needed otherwise just get a youtube membership because like this you have directly access here on youtube to the live stream so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!